the week. Well, breaking news this evening that uh, Gordon Brown, our Prime Minister, will be required to appear at the Chilcot inquiry into the Iraq war before the general election. Indeed. Now, this, this matter has moved a very long distance in a very short period of time. I mean, originally, this inquiry was maybe not going to be held until after the general election. Maybe it was going to be held in secret. Uh, maybe Tony Blair could give his evidence in secret. Now, we're going to have two Prime Ministers giving evidence in public before a general election. And this week, we've seen Jeff Hoon, who was the Defence Secretary. We've seen Jack Straw, who was the Foreign Secretary. And uh, in their evidence, I would say the metaphor about rats and a sinking ship uh, pretty much came to, to my mind. I understand why it did, but I tell you, the fact that Mr Brown has volunteered, as I understand it, not being dragoon, volunteered Correct. to appear before the election, suggests to me a growing confidence in the Prime Minister. Well, I, I would say that this thing was going to be drawn out and drawn out, and the issue was going to be the non-appearance of Gordon Brown. So. I think he makes a correct political choice that it is better to have him appear mm. and to close off the issue about why he won't appear. But nonetheless, I do think these hearings are pretty bad news for the government. And we will talk more about them in a few moments. Diane, your moment. This <coughs> week's meeting of the Parliamentary Labour Party, where, which is always on a Monday, mm. where we had a heated discussion about proportional representation. It was actually about something called AV. It is late. Viewers are sleepy. I will not detain you with explaining well, you're what age. Sleepy. You go on much more like this. <laughs> exactly. The but alternative the, vote. Yeah, but what um, what Gordon Brown now wants to do is to amend legislation going through Parliament. So we're going to change the law before the election to make AV um, the law going forward. We were going to have a referendum after. He now wants to change the legislation before we go into the election. So, uh, so and he's what? going to move an amendment. So we wouldn't have a new electoral system for this election. No. But an, in, an incoming Conservative government would have to well, amend a law that already existed. That's so the idea. So after the next election, we would have AV? No. After the next election, we, the, an incoming Conservative government would be committed to a referendum on AV. Yeah. Oh. But anyway, right. we had a heated discussion. The majority of people in the meeting were against it. The majority of MPs are against it. The Labour Party has never discussed it. There is no enthusiasm at all step for this, but they seem to think they can ram it through with Lib Dem votes. I mean, it, it seems to me pretty lethal to the Tories. So why are so many of you against it? Well, no, we think it was... Argue, well, people argue that it will unite the Lib Dems because they love PR. Mm -hmm. It will unite the Tories because they're against PR. Yeah. And it will split and us and three ways. Divide Labour. Yeah. OK. That's why we don't like it. Before anybody else switches off, can I move on? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, a year.